freedom. Today I want to talk to you about something that I feel is important, and that is addressing your audience properly. And I'll explain what I mean by that. A lot of people will address their audience as guys or you all. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. But I do want to put a bug in your ear. 99 times out of 100, when you're speaking to your audience, on the other end of that, you're just one person. It's not a whole room full of people. It's just one person that you're developing almost a personal relationship with. And it's very important that you develop that personal relationship. And if you break that fourth wall, so to speak, psychologically, and you constantly remind people that it's not a personal relationship, they're not gonna feel quite as invested in what you're doing. And it's a good thing, it's a bad thing. You, you can always break that when it's necessary. Like when you're calling upon your community as a whole. Like, say for instance, if you were raising money for charity, you may say, I need all of you to support this. Now what this does is it uses the plural of you, meaning all of you, but it does not still break that fourth wall. And for a lot of people, it doesn't quite register that you are talking to an entire crowd. Now, of course, logically, we all know that you are performing for a group of people. Or sometimes, if you're like me, just a camera in your office. But it's still very, very important for you to live within this, this world of a one-on-one -on -one connection. Because when you comment to someone, it's a lot like that. YouTube comments. Though it's publicly visible to the world, when you reply to someone's YouTube comments, you're speaking to one person. And your videos are really no different. So I just want you to keep that in mind. Try in your videos for the next six months. Now I know that sounds like a long time, but when you get to be my age, you're about 28, you start realizing that six months, that's nothing. So for the next six months, I want everyone watching this video to pledge to try to use the plural of you. Because you can do it. And hopefully you see what I just did there. I'm really bad about doing it. I know a lot of my friends and colleagues that I work with are also really bad about doing it. But I want you to try it for just six months. And I want you to come back to this video or to any of my videos or on my personal channel. I want you to tell me in six months whether that made a difference. It only works if you make a habit out of doing it. Because your audience is just like my audience. They are people. And they want to feel like they know you. They want to feel like you are talking directly to them. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let me know in the comment section down below if this makes sense, or you can think of any real world example how this works, or other channels that do this, let me know. Also, this doesn't necessarily mean to stop calling your audience pet names. Pet names are awesome for an audience. I call my audience the Anthonites on my personal channel. So yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I'm babbling, I should not do this. Bad Anthony, bad. Till next time, I'm Anthony with freedom. Like, subscribe, comment, please.